in a quaint little town where the cobblestone streets whispered stories of yesteryears and the wild, whispering forests at its edge spoke of ancient secrets. There stood an old hat shop. This was no ordinary place of commerce where one would simply pick a hat for shade or style. No, this shop was a treasure chest of dreams, a sanctuary where magic breathed life into every stitch and weave. Amidst the vast sea of hats, one in particular shone with an inner light that outshone the rest. A sparkling, time-traveling hat adorned with twinkling stars and shimmering ribbons, seemingly made of the very essence of adventure itself. This hat belonged to Amy, a young girl whose bright eyes were windows to a soul filled with boundless curiosity and vibrant dreams. Every hat in the shop had its story, but the time-traveling hat and Amy shared a bond that was truly special. The hat was a gift from her grandmother, a mysterious and wise woman who had traveled the world and beyond, bringing back tales of wonder and awe. As dusk embraced the town each night, Amy would retreat to her room, the anticipation of another adventure sending tingles of excitement through her. The town would sink into a peaceful slumber, the night sky transforming into a canvas painted with glittering stars and swirling galaxies, a backdrop for the magic about to unfold. Tonight, as Amy placed the time-traveling hat upon her head, she whispered her secret wish into its soft brim. Take me where the past and future collide, she murmured, her voice a gentle breeze that stirred the dormant magic within the hat. With a graceful spin, Amy's room began to dissolve, colors and lights intertwining in a dance as old as time itself. Amy's first destination was a time when the earth was a wild tapestry of life and color, a period where majestic creatures roamed free. She found herself in a lush, prehistoric jungle, the air thick with the scent of ferns and the distant roars of dinosaurs. The ground beneath her feet was soft, the soil rich and untamed. Ahead, a brachiosaurus towered over the canopy, its long neck reaching into the heavens as it munched on the leafy greens of tall trees. Amy watched in awe, her heart racing with the thrill of being so close to such gentle giants. She ventured further, her path lit by the soft glow of her time-traveling hat, which now shimmered with a pale light casting long shadows among the ferns. A curious triceratops, its skin a tapestry of textures and hues, wandered up to her. Its eyes sparkled with an ancient wisdom as it regarded Amy with a gentle gaze. Tentatively, she reached out, her fingers brushing against its rough, warm skin. The Triceratops let out a soft huff, a sound of ancient forests and untold stories. As she ventured deeper into the jungle, the sound of wings drew her gaze upwards. A group of pterodactyls soared gracefully above, their silhouettes playing against the backdrop of a setting prehistoric sun. Their wings cast playful shadows on the ground and Amy giggled, her laughter mingling with the timeless symphony of the natural world. The hat, sensing Amy's desire for a new adventure, twirled her into the future, 
a world of gleaming skyscrapers and neon lights that painted the night sky with vibrant colors. The city was alive with the hum of advanced technology and the harmony of nature and progress. Robots with blinking eyes and smiling faces greeted Amy as she arrived. They were friendly companions, eager to show her around their sparkling city. The streets were lined with digital displays, showcasing art and messages from around the world, a testament to the interconnectedness of this future society. Amy was then invited to ride in a sleek, silent flying car. The vehicle zipped through the air, its motion as smooth as gliding on water. Her hair fluttered in the wind, a ribbon of freedom in the sky. Below, gardens floated in the sky, lush green spaces that defied gravity, where people gathered to relax and commune with nature amidst the bustling city. The blend of nature and technology was seamless, a harmony that spoke of a future where the planet and progress walked hand in hand. The hat, sensing Amy's yearning for a taste of her own imagination, whisked her away to a world that was the very essence of whimsy. Here, Rivers of liquid chocolate flowed with a gentle purple, winding through landscapes where mountains were made of fluffy marshmallows, their peaks glistening under a candy-colored sky. This world was inhabited by talking animals, each more delightful than the last. A wise old cat wearing spectacles that glinted with a hint of mischief, shared stories of the moon's secrets. A group of friendly dogs engaged in a spirited game of chess, their moves calculated with comical seriousness. Nearby, a family of rabbits, dressed in finery that would make any tea party jealous, welcomed Amy to join their grand gathering under the shade of candy-floss trees. The air was filled with laughter and the sweet scent of confections, a melody of joy that danced on the breeze. As the clock in her world chimed midnight, a gentle tug at her heart signaled that it was time to return. With a sigh of contentment, and a heart full of new memories, Amy tipped her hat, and the magical world around her gently faded into the comforting familiarity of her bedroom. Safely back in her room, the hat now rested quietly on the shelf, its magic settled like dust after a storm. Amy's room with its walls adorned with drawings of her adventures and shelves filled with books of fairy tales and science fiction, welcomed her back. She crawled into her bed, the soft blankets enveloping her in warmth and comfort. The memories of her adventures played back in her mind, a private movie that filled her with a sense of joy and fulfillment. As she lay there, the night outside her window was still, the town asleep under a blanket of stars. Amy's adventures had taken her across time and space, yet the quiet of her own room felt just as magical. She realized that every journey, no matter how far or fantastic, always led her back to this safe haven a reminder that home was not just a place, but a feeling carried in the heart. Good night, my magical friends, she whispered with a smile, her thoughts already drifting to the wonders that awaited her in dreams, yet undreamed. Good night, tiny.
dinosaurs of the ancient past, guardians of the future, and creatures of my imagination. Thank you for the adventures, for the laughter, and for the magic that fills my heart. Until we meet again under the starry sky. Good night, and sweet dreams to all who believe in the magic of adventure. <laughs>